Why did we don't do school? Why aren't we going to school? Do you remember? Because there's coronavirus all around um, the sky. So we have to have school at home? Yep. We are in quarantine and everything's changing, getting more and more like, you know, real out there and businesses are closing down. You're having to wear a mask when you go out in public. People might get sick because coronavirus. Yeah. We have six kids in here just trying to figure out what we're supposed to be doing, but this is like uncharted territory for everybody. The virus is spreading around. It's spreading around the whole world. And so hopefully we'll get through it soon. What up, girls? Hey. Hello, Uncle Doofus. Hey, Uncle Dale's new That's name, huh? Name. You need to control your girls. They don't need to be calling me Uncle Doofus. They need to respect me. I don't even know where that came from. They're bullies. <laughs> Nowadays, it's almost impossible to get the girls to agree on something to eat for dinner. So sometimes, it's just better to go eat out at a restaurant and let them pick whatever they want. Be careful. Plus, they get to see Kiki and Kenzie and Bronson. And Uncle Doofus. Uncle Doofus. I jack my back up with chiropractor, and uh, she's like, what's he on the mountain skiing? Really gonna have some fun. At least there'll be a hot tub there. Mm, I know. We are talking about skiing? Yeah. yeah. We have been planning a trip to go snow skiing for a long time. And the opportunity came up for us to go stay at our friend's house for free up in Wyoming in a couple weeks. And so we're super pumped up to go. Yeah. It'd be nice kind of get away with everything kind of going on right now. Yeah, I know. coronavirus <laughs> stuff. Yeah, and I mean, I've been looking at the news and everything, and it doesn't look like that big of a deal right now. I think as long as we keep the kids when we go through airports, stuff like that, washing yeah. hands and yeah, not I mean, touching we'll, stuff. We'll do that regardless. I know. So we'll, Come on, we're going to go potty and wash hands. Yeah, our table's ready. Let's go eat. Who knows what we'll a mountain down, looks like? Mm. What is a mountain? Have y'all even seen like? hills? Well, the most hills you've ever saw was when we went to West Texas and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we went to the ranch. We went to the ranch. We yeah. see mountains in Hawaii. Oh, yeah, in Hawaii, volcano. Oh, wait, that's yeah. not no, that was okay. Another family adventure. Riley, did you try goggles on? Yeah. <laughs> Which I think everybody did. I'm excited to go, though, get away for a little bit before we possibly can. I don't know. You know what's going to happen with this coronavirus stuff. Yeah. There's been some reports on the news about a coronavirus spreading in parts of the world. But as far as the U.S., there's only a handful of cases, and there's none in Texas or Wyoming. So, of course, we'll be diligent, but it looks like we're good to go. All right, y'all ready? Let's get the rest of this stuff and go. How is this all going to fit in? You're going to move. Good question, Blake. We don't have much time to figure that out. I'm going to go home and start, got to start packing whatever I can. Stop. Can y'all stop? Y'all digging in my purse? Wyoming, here we come. Hey, got my travel buddy. Give me five. The bus is going. The bus is going, says Rai Rai. Give me your hands. You got it on my hand. Good. Okay, follow me. We got to hurry. We're running late. Let's go. I want to wipe all this stuff down. Because there's germs. I'm sitting by the window. Hey, we're ready to hit the snow. Jackson Hole, Wyoming, we made it. This house is unbelievable. I mean, we really didn't know what to expect. And Michelle, our friends, whose house this is, she kind of told us like, here's the amount of beds there are and where the kids should sleep. But you don't really picture that until you can get here. Wait. Wait. Where? We can play in snow. Riley, where do you want to go? Hey, where are y'all going? No, no, we need ski clothes on. Close the door. I mean, they're literally climbing up the walls. We better get these kids into their ski clothes before there's a riot. <laughs> that's so deep. Oh my God, that's deep. We've never really even stepped in snow before, so stepping in it and you just sink. Go, hey, no. <laughs> I got stuck in the snow. I got ice. Miss Taylor texted me. Man. What'd she say? Just. We got a report that the school's closed for two weeks. That's crazy. Because of this coronavirus. We came up here to get away from the real world, and apparently we did. It is weird. <sighs> there was people kind of talking about coronavirus whenever we left, but like just in the span that we've been here up in the mountains, it's like all hell's broke loose back home or everywhere. 
I went on my phone like for the first time and saw like the news of this turmoil. Everything's so peaceful and we're up in the mountains and like nobody's like worried about anything where we're at. I almost feel like we're living on another planet right now. While we were on vacation, coronavirus spread fast in the U.S. When we left, there was less than 300 cases, and when we got back, there was 3,000 cases. Like on Instagram, I'm getting messages from people saying, well, why, why are you traveling with your kids? Like, it wasn't a big deal when we left. <sighs> well, we had to at least go to the store. I mean, we just got back from the trip, so like, we have nothing. Del and I have always been the ones who've gone grocery shopping for each of our families, so today, we're both going together while Adam and Crystal watch the kids. We heard people are emptying these grocery shelves out. So hopefully we can get enough to last for the next two weeks. It's not as bad as it is in some areas that are literally on lockdown, but this sucks. I feel like I haven't done any work either. When it comes to my clothing line, I was planning on doing like some pop-up shops around the town, but now with everything going on, it's best that I just kind of like push things off a little bit and just focus on what all has to be done at the house. Oh, this look as bad as here as I thought. Yeah, maybe beat the rush. Hello? Hey, did you get the picture? A picture? Did you get a picture? Zero toilet paper. There's really no toilet paper. Zero, like, any type of wipe that you can imagine. Even the meat department looks like it's been ransacked. The shelves are empty. It just totally freaks me out because this is definitely making things feel way more serious. This is and could be bigger than I'm thinking of right now. I need toilet paper, paper towels. And we need food like eggs, bread, milk, orange juice, apple juice. I did get, I did get some paper towels. I was able to get paper towels. We got, I mean, we got stuff, but not the things that I was eating. We're gonna run over to Arlen's and You're see gone. if they have anything. All right, well, we'll let you know if we're fun. All right, bye. bye. That's kind of scary. I mean, people are acting like they do whenever we have like a hurricane, like yeah. there's like a disaster. But whenever, but whenever we have hurricanes, we don't run out of toilet paper. It's not funny, Hazel. <laughs> Hazel, you don't even know what you're laughing at. What are you, you're licking the top of the peanut thing. No, Ava. That's Olivia. Lulu. Why are you getting peanut what? butter out? I think you have to wash that well, top of that like that. Five-year-olds, they're pretty gross. We're gonna have to have a talk about cleanliness. There's Ava. Where, what y'all doing? I hear the toilet. Don't use too much toilet paper.